Hi, it's Max from the Halo Artists, and today is another tutorial of Paint.net. Um, so, in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is making an end card, but we're not going to be putting it in the uh, in the actual clip first. We're just going to make the end card itself. So, uh, if you want just to put it in the clip, uh, check out the next video. Um, yeah, there'll be an annotation somewhere around here now. Anyway, um, to get started, you want to import or you want to copy and paste a background. So uh, I'm going to use our logo. Might resize the canvas for you automatically. Uh, that's fine, don't worry. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go onto the rectangle select uh, thingy. Oh, no, you don't. My bad. Ugh, it's broken. Okay, so you want to go on your... You want to make a new layer. Make sure it's on top of the logo. Delete your background layer. Go on your new layer you just made. Get the rectangle uh, select key. And get a uh, fair thing like that. But the problem is, if you do it like this, and there's not much room at the top, you can't really put the text in the top, and you have to put it on the bottom. But our text doesn't work on the bottom because of the uh, logos in the way. So if I just do it here, I've got now space on top. So once you've got that, you want to press delete. Don't worry, it uh, will supposed to happen. Okay, nothing happens at the moment. Okay, now you want to go on your logo background, and you want to press F4. Then you want to go on the mode, and go on lighten. And press OK. And now, you want to do your uh, square again. And you want to, it doesn't have to be the same side though. And you want to delete. And there we go. And now we have a background, like a hole. This is where your clip's going to be, the, that you can click on. Um, okay, and now, what you can do if you want to, you can have your Facebook and your Twitter. Uh, I don't do them, because we don't have that yet. But uh, what we could do is actually write comment, rate, And subscribe. And uh, they're very small, but and I spelt it wrong. But don't worry, um, I'm just doing it for purposes of a uh, demonstration. So now you've got these two, um, these two things here. So you got the box and these. Uh, you should just about be done. But if you want the cool effect of making the background actually um, blurred, uh, you can always go into effects, blurs. And then you can um, put on, I think it's Gussie and Burn, Blur. And this will actually blur out the background a little bit. Uh, that's been blurred because I didn't do it right. But look, you can uh, change the blur. It's just rendering because it's slow. So yeah, you, you can change the blur. I'm, I'm not going to change the blur, so I'm just going to cancel that. And uh, yeah, so now you've got all that. One important thing you might want to do is say at the top, like, check out latest or last, okay, video. And there. Uh, I'm going to increase the size a little bit because that's a bit hard to see. And there we go. That is uh, your end card. So, um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, uh, yeah, if you subscribe, there'll be more videos. It just works like that. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video, once again, and, uh, yeah, bye. So, I'm going to save it as end card tutorial, and before you save it, you want to say save as type, and then you want to go with PNG, and save, and now I've got that saved, uh, almost, <laughs> so now I've got that saved, you want to go 